the bucketeers. Come on and cheer, cheer. Look here, here. Little white women is my favorite. Bucketeers. Now their leader's name is Metalark. I like Metalark when he's because he's a funny guy. Be careful, or he'll steal your heart. He'll dribble and he'll shoot it. I'm a Lark Lennon. He gonna use your heart for a basketball. Hi. I'm Metal Lock Lemon, and you guys are some of my favorite people. So stick around. We're gonna get down with some great action with me and my bucketeers. Marcus Haynes comes into the game now, and I have an idea we're probably going to see some dribbling pretty soon. Yeah, some great dribbling at that. Not a bad pass underneath <laughs> the window for the basket. That was an NBA pass right there. At least an NBA pass. NBA dunk. <laughs> Another jump shot goes. Coasters have a lot of shooters. And I have an idea we're going to see a little bit of that dribbling right now. Stepped on the end line, but we're not going to notice that. The man's been doing it for so many years, you can overlook a few things. That's right. You know, after doing the same thing for 20, 30 years, it's amazing that he can still do it and still do it with the same type of proficiency that he did it before. Wish I had knees like that now. I tell you, the man has just done it so many times, and I had a chance to talk with him about all those years. You know, we've had an opportunity to meet some of the veterans of this Bucketeers Club. We met, of course, up close, met a Lark Lemon. We also met Marcus Haynes. Right now, we have an opportunity to meet the youngest member of the band. He is 23-year-old Alan Winder. All the guys on the team call me Blue Eyes for obvious reasons. Uh, when I was a, a youngster, I remember going to see the Globies when Lark was with them. My dad took me. And uh, I never dreamed in a million years I'd be on this bus heading off to who knows where, somewhere in New York. It's really beautiful the way that, that Lark treats us all. and that He just makes me feel right at home. For so many years, he was on my wall. You know, the face of Metal Arc Lemon, and, and now it's kind of hard to take him off that wall. But he is a real person. I don't know, if I got an offer from the NBA, uh, which, you know, there's talk of that, I believe I'd stay right here where I am. There's just, there's just not the companionship and the family type that existence, I guess, that, that's on this bus, that's on the plane, or, or in the gym, or in the locker room, you know, just, uh, everybody's like brothers out here on this team. It's, it's Lark and Marcus, Marcus Haynes, they're doing it. They're like, you know, father figures. And uh, it's just a, it's a neat way to live, and it's a great, it's a, it's a job. It's, I gotta pinch myself sometimes to, to realize that I'm getting paid for doing something like this. The kids are another really exciting aspect of the game. That, uh, and the adults too, it's, it's a laughter. Uh, laughter is such an important entity to any, you know, to any life. And it really gives you a, a deep uh, satisfaction to to do something and and let them know that you know that you're out there for them and uh, they just can forget about what they're doing the last hour or what they did that day at the office or if the kid made an F in social studies you know he didn't come out there and have a good time and and laugh and enjoy it like we enjoy it. I'll now get out of everybody's way. It's kind of tough on the road every once in a while. Uh, you start thinking about home, and I'll, I got a little packet of pictures I carry around with me. It's got my uh, fiance, Sharon, and my mom and dad, and my dog, T.R. Tanner, the Wonder Dog. 
And, uh, you know, I pull them out and see my, my dad fishing. And I just remember, you know, what it's like out on the lake. Uh, I'm excited. It, it makes it makes it a neat time at home when I go home after I've been away a while because everybody gets the big dinner ready and all my friends come over. My dog's wagging, you know. It's, uh, it's neat. I was on the UTA team at the University of Texas for a while. Then I got, some guy walked up to me in the gym and said that, uh, Medlark wanted me out of his training camp, and that kind of changed my whole life. Went out there, and, and I was actually, it seemed like I was going out for the other team because of uh, being white, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of spots uh, left for a, for a white person that I thought of, because I thought it was going to be just like the Globetrotters. But the guys were so receptive, and, and Medlark was just looking for quality ball players. And, uh, he came up to me and said he'd like for me to play on the Bucketeers. So here I am, rolling on some highway, ready for another show. Yeah, yeah. Look here, here. Here come the Bucketeers. Come on, cheer, cheer. Look here, here. <laughs> 